What is going on guys? My name is Dale. I am the Casual Gaming Addict and welcome back to episode 2 of our Campaign of France Start from Scratch Let's Play on Farming Simulator 2019. Excuse me if I sound a little tired. I am in the midst of recording things while streaming, while uh, doing the 24-hour Drive for Life convoy. It is currently 6.34 a.m. Eastern Time on Sunday, April the 5th. We are on the last leg of the Drive for Life convoy. We are in an hour break, and I need to get this video recorded so I can get it up for Monday. So, we're going to record it right quick, and then I'm going to jump back into the convoy, and we're going to have some fun. So, uh, we're going to jump right into it today. Um, off camera, I went ahead and purchased fields two and three, so we would have a little bit more acreage to um, to cultivate ourselves. So we're going to go ahead and those fields both need some work done to them. Mm, excuse me. I am living off of coffee right now, so please excuse the indigestion. hooked up to the subsoiler. Um, I do not have my wheel bound. Um, like I said, I'm in kind of a hurry to film this video um, because I need to get this up for Monday and I have a very sneaking suspicion that I am not going to be awake at all on Sunday um, after the convoy is over. So let's hop in field number three here and we will get started doing a bit of subsoiling. Um, so this is actually one of the smallest maps in uh, FS19. Um, so it may or may not be um, hard to actually get going on Start From Scratch uh, because the prices are so low. Um, it could be a good or a bad thing to be able to build up a big farm, or easy or hard to be able to build up a big farm, I should say. I will say it has been a long but entertaining night. Um, like I said, I've been streaming since we started the convoy. Uh, I've been kicked for reckless driving twice as of this moment. Um, yeah, it's been um, it's been interesting for sure. Honestly, at this point, I just hope to survive the last two routes um, and then get this video edited and then crash. Uh, for a few hours and get some sleep and then hopefully get up and upload this video in time <laughs> but uh, yeah um, every field on this map is less than an acre um, if I remember right from what uh, Flowside from Black Sheep Mining told me um, he's actually one of the guys that I talk to regularly in the Serious Network Discord. Um, and if you guys are curious, I haven't been plugging it this weekend because I haven't been in there. I've been in my VTC Discord um, all weekend um, where we were streaming on the Death Road Friday night and then all day Saturday and then um, all morning. Today, Sunday morning, I'll be streaming as well. Um, I've had three six hour streams so far um, and the last stream should be pretty close to that as well um, so I hope you guys enjoyed all of that um, the feedback I've gotten so far from the streams that have been going um, have been really good uh, stream three was a bit of a fail so I don't blame you guys if you don't watch that one um, if you don't like it uh, it took me about 45 minutes to realize that my mic was muted um, because I decided to change to my headset because it was like 1, 2 in the morning when I started and I didn't feel like having my Yeti in my face. Um, so I can actually talk about my setup a little bit um, because I know some people are wondering. Um, I've been asked a few times in Discord what I'm using. Um, 
my computer is a hand-built computer. It's on an X470 motherboard, uh, Ryzen 2700X with a GTX 1070 uh, graphics card with 16 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance RAM and a Seasonic Focus Plus or Focus Plus Gold 80 Plus Gold certified fully modular. Um, 750 watt power supply. Um, I am currently using three different types of monitors. Uh, I have an Acer XFA 240 uh, that is listed by NVIDIA as being G-Sync compatible um, using its FreeSync module. And then I have an AOC G uh, G2460PF um, and that is not officially listed as G-Sync compatible by NVIDIA, but it is G-Sync compatible with its FreeSync module. Um, the Acer monitor is actually cheaper. I was going to buy another AOC, but the Acer monitor is actually cheaper right now, or at what it was, it is... Yeah, excuse me. My mouth is really dry because I've been talking for a long time. <sighs> Take a breath for a second. The Acer was cheaper in January when I bought this monitor than the AOC was. Um, but the AOC and the Acer are, I believe, the two bottom price point 1080p G-Sync capable FreeSync monitors. And then my third monitor is just a cheap Samsung S24D360. Um, that one just came from Office Max. Um, that was the monitor I started this setup with, and that monitor mainly just runs Discord now. Um... For joysticks, I have two sticks. I have a Thrustmaster T1600M uh, for my left hand because it's ambidextrous. And I have a Logitech 3D Extreme Pro for my right hand. Uh, for the mouse, I'm using a Corsair M60 wired. For the keyboard, I'm using uh, the M60 is RGB. For the keyboard, I'm using a Corsair K70 Lux, uh, non RGB, so it's the standard red and it has cherry mx browns in it um, which i really like i really like that little tactile bump but they're not super clicky i apologize that you guys can hear me hitting the keys um, because i just hit i just type really hard um, i'm hoping to get some silencers but right now with this whole coronavirus thing it's hard to get anything so i'm just putting that off for the moment um, for my wheel I'm using the Farming Simulator uh, Satec Heavy Equipment side pan or, um, wheel and pedals. I do not have the side panel. And for my mic, I have it on a just a cheap boom from Walmart. I don't even know that I want to mention it because it's pretty crappy and trying to fall over right now. Um, but for my mic, I'm using a standard Blue Yeti Blackout. Um, there's no difference in the Blackout and the regular Blue Yeti. I just like the way the Blackout looks. And they were the same price at Best Buy, so I just went ahead and got them. Uh, I'll try and put links to some of this stuff. I know there's newer parts, um, like for my PC and stuff. I just haven't upgraded. Um, so I probably won't link the stuff that's in my PC, but I'll link like the Blue Yeti and the joysticks and the keyboard and stuff in the description below. So, as you can see, guys, we have already finished just about subsoiling these two fields uh, so being as it's still spring it's going to be a lot of early field work uh, because it is too early to put any crops in the ground um, and I said last week while I'm thinking about it um, I said last week that I was going to try and make all these episodes about 30 minutes but after recording all my content for last week, I start, I chopped my, my videos down each time that I recorded. And I think I'm going to try and stick to around the 20 minute mark or a little bit shorter depending on how dry the episode feels. So this one may be a short episode because, like I said, we're done with um, the stuff that we were just doing, uh, the subsoiling. So I'm actually going to speed the time up here, um, and I've got the Easy Dev Controls mod installed, so I can speed the time up a little faster. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and skip to the second day of spring. 
um, and then look and see what jobs we have in store for us. Oh, joy, it's raining. Even better. Oof. Alright, well, that's fine. We can do a transport mission. So let's put our subsoiler back up. It seems to have snowed a little bit overnight as well. Well, we are kind of in the right part of the world, I guess, for snow. I don't actually really know about the climate of this part of France. I'm exactly where this is based. Based on my limited knowledge of European geology, because, well, yeah, it's just limited knowledge. Um, I honestly am not completely sure but I feel like the, the, that France is probably on about the same longitudinal line as I am, um, or very, very close within a, definitely within a set of lines, um, so definitely within 40 degrees, um, which I know there's a big shift in climate just in that 40 degrees, but, uh, yeah, anyway, um, uh, I feel like they probably have about the same kind of weather that we do here. Um, or maybe kind of a little further south, maybe, where we see snow every once in a while, but not a ton. Um, because we do not see snow, but maybe once or twice a year. Um, so let's just pull into the store right quick. And open up attachments menu Ooh, let's get steers uh, front end loaders pallet fork and we're running an international so we'll make a case i tread and we'll say an incad view for this What's unfortunate is this is only, we're only going to make about four hundred dollars on this job once we paid for the pallet fork. So if I just open up the map, have gone away that wasn't technically a way to go but eh, we'll go with it I'm still learning my way around this map guys so I know there's probably some of you watching right now that are like why didn't he go that way or why didn't he go that way because I honestly don't know any better uh, but this seems like the way I want to be going I think Traffic. And I think I'm on the wrong side of the map.
I do believe I'm on the wrong side of the map. Big F in the chat. Yep, big ol' F in the chat. Oh wait, nope. There's our luggage. Just about need a skid steer to get in here. I was not expecting it to be this tight. Well, it's all right. We'll get it. Oh, sorry, cement truck. Yep, I've been doing that on ETS all day. Oof. All right, it's obvious that I'm struggling. Uh, <laughs> so I tell you what, I tell you guys what, we'll deliver this one ballot on camera and then I will complete the rest of this job off camera before next time and then we will find ourselves another job to do next time. There's the home farm. So yeah, we'll get this uh, pallet delivered quickly. And then I will, uh, I believe we'll go ahead and call it there. We're going to go towards the shop because I feel like that's where this point is. Probably should have read the... Uh yeah, there we go. It's at the port, or at the shop. Probably should have read the mission description a little closer. Oh, well. Things happen, right, guys? Maybe it's not at the shop. Ah, it's below the egg cell point. Okay. That explains that. So if we just turn in here. And that's not where I needed to turn. Lovely. What about down here? Lovely. Come on, off the pallet forks. <sighs> OK. 
Come on, pallet. FS needs to work on its pallet physics a little bit. Just, you know, for those that don't know. Pallet physics needs some help. Granted, they've needed said help for a long time. As do Baelomog physics. Oh. Maybe it's on forward up here. There we go. Alrighty, guys. That's going to be it for today. I want to thank you guys for watching. My name is Dale. I've been the Casual Gaming Addict. I'm going to go back to streaming now. And hopefully we will survive the last two routes of the convoy. And then I can go to bed. So again, my name is Dale. I'm the Casual Gaming Addict. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. I love you guys. And I will see you guys tomorrow for GTA. Thanks for watching.